Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So before I end up going to work here in a few minutes, I just wanted to unbox a few jerseys. Uh, I have a few of them here today. Um, I do have a third one coming next week. It should be here on Monday. Uh, that was from the Sport Check sale that they had a couple days ago. Sport Check obviously being a Canadian company here that we have in Canada. Um, but I have two jerseys coming from Ben H Sports today, so we'll unbox those and we'll take a quick look, see what I got. Alright, so I am excited about both of these. Oh dear, that came close to my face. Jesus. Alright. I also do have a hat coming. Um, I am all about the gangster hats right now, as you know. So I have a really cool uh, vintage gangster hat coming. It should be here as well next week. Uh, again, Ben H Sports always does a fantastic job packaging his products. Well protected and everything. So one of these jerseys I actually already have. And another one, I just needed a second option for a white jersey. But as always, let's do this here. If you're in the market for a new jersey, definitely go check out his eBay store, see what he has, see find what you like. Send him an email separately, not on eBay, and you'll save yourself a little bit extra money there. All right, now that we have that taken care of, oh my God, that went right in the garbage can. I wish you guys could have seen that. That was, damn. Okay, so. We will start with, hmm, which one should we do first? Let's do this one. This one is a size 50. Again, I don't want to get the, I'll, I'll just open it and turn around and then talk to you guys. The Road Ducks jersey. Um, I definitely needed a second white Ducks jersey in my collection. The only other one I have is this one right here. This one I absolutely do love, but I kind of wanted a little bit of an updated look. So definitely happy to have this in my collection. Very happy to find it in a white one. White jerseys are becoming more hard to find. So I will definitely live with a size 50 for this one. Plus the size 46, this logo looks absolutely horrendous on this jersey. Um, I haven't seen the white one in a 46, but I have seen the black one in a 46 and just does not look good. But I will definitely be getting Silverberg on this jersey, I think. So yeah, very excited to have this one in my collection now. And that will look great on my Instagram stories. Alright, next one. Alright, so this next jersey is a jersey that I already have. Um, this one is a size 46, but I'll pretty much just open it up and explain to you why I got a second one of this team. So I got another blank um, Vegas jersey, the white jersey, and I already actually have this one in my collection like I already kind of mentioned. Right here. Um, so you might be asking why the hell would I get a second one? Three reasons to be honest. One, uh, the player that I have on there, Pierre Edward Belmar, he actually no longer plays for the team. I'll definitely be getting his Avalanche jersey uh, at some point, but he no longer plays for the Vegas Golden Knights. Two, like I said, the white jerseys are becoming harder and harder to find, and yeah, uh, the shiny newness of the Vegas Golden Knights is kind of slowly wearing away, so these will just kind of become like a regular other team, and it's going to be harder to find the white jerseys. And third reason I got a new Vegas jersey is the full-size logo. It looks much better 
than the small first year logo that um, Adidas had done. It's it's a big difference, at least for me. Um, I this is something I definitely noticed right away. I can live with it. Um, this might be getting some that I could actually get framed at some point because this is still a beautiful jersey. One of my favorite players of all time. Uh, so yeah, on this one, I'm not sure who I'm going to get. Kind of leaning towards Riley Smith, but we'll see. And yeah, very happy to have another Vegas jersey in my collection. They are absolutely gorgeous. But that wraps up this video, guys. Like I said, uh, next week I will have one more jersey to unbox, and that's pretty much it for a little while. Um, I mentioned in a different video I'm trying to save up for a cup of something else at the moment, which will not be cheap. So... Unless there's really, really good sales deals that I can't pass up on, which was what happened with this coming jersey next week. It was just too good of a price. I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Um, unless something like that happens again, that's pretty much it for, like I said, just, just a little while. Um, all right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. So I'm decided I'm going to actually just tack this uh, unboxing onto the last video that I did before I actually end up uploading that one. So... It'll be three jerseys instead of just two. Uh, now this jersey is coming from Sportcheck. Sportcheck last week had a pretty decent sale on NHL jerseys. It wasn't all the jerseys out there. Um, not even all the jerseys actually on their website. It was only a select few. But I figured I'd pick one up. Now the jersey that I ended up getting, um, I was really hoping to find a white or blue Toronto home jersey. Um, the white one was on sale, but I decided not to go with it just because of the full-size logo issue and everything. I'm not sure really what I'm going to be getting. Same with Edmonton. I really, really want their home jersey, but again, I'm not going to buy it with the small logo. Their logo uh, in the small one looks absolutely horrendous on a 46, uh, size 46. So that one wasn't out on the question either. And I actually don't think the home oiler ones were on sale. Maybe they were. I can't quite remember. It was about a week ago now. So looking through, it took me a little time to actually find something that I was interested in picking up and I found something. So we'll open it up and see what I got. Now this is not packed particularly nicely. It's really t small and tight packaging. I completely understand it for shipping wise. It makes it a lot cheaper for them to do it. But man the logos and everything just get folded like absolute hell in something this small. So Sportcheck, a multi-million dollar company sending something out like this versus Ben H Sports who it's just one guy and packages his stuff so, so well. Super appreciative of, of him to do that when you have big, huge corporations, companies kind of packaging them like this. But hopefully it wasn't in there for too, too long. We'll see what we got here and see what kind of condition it is in. All right. Seats. All right, the logo is small enough that it didn't get affected, so. The Toronto Arenas. Um, this was a jersey that I definitely really wanted to get. Um, I think they blew out Carolina in this jersey, actually, if I remember correctly. So, I didn't think I was really gonna ever find it, and I got it for under 100 bucks from this past sale, so I'll definitely take that. Now, it does have the smaller logo on there. Not a huge deal. This jersey's not something that I highly coveted, um, but definitely happy to have it. And it's a text font, so the smaller logo doesn't look terrible um, as some of their other counterparts. But yeah, very happy with this. So, Sport Check, uh, thank you. And I definitely am happy to have a Toronto jersey in my collection. Now, I just need their home jersey. Yeah, uh, that pretty much is it, guys. Thank you very much again for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys want, I think I already mentioned this, but I'll say it again. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if you want to check out my Twitter, I'll leave that down there below as well. I don't often plug that one, but oh well. Take care, guys. See you again soon. Bye.